Well, as we all know, life is all about choices. And when I was 13 years old, I was faced with a number of choices about whether or not I could move forward from having just lost my mother and two sisters in a plane crash. So my mother was 39, my sisters were 11 and 8, and I was left with a dad who was completely traumatized, obviously. And at 13, I had to make some very important choices about how I was going to deal with this terrible tragedy. Back in the 70s, there was no professional help available. Nobody really understood or knew how to deal with tragic situations. And coming from a good place, people thought the best way to move forward was to be distracted and to do anything you can to take the pain away from the people who were suffering. So one of the things I did that I really do believe was an amazing choice was I used all of my experience for the first 13 years of my life, having grown up in a home where we did a lot for others and we made a difference in the lives of other people, I went out as a 13-year-old and began volunteering at hospitals and nursing homes so that I could help other people and take my mind off the tragedy that I was having to deal with alone. And I truly believe that when we do reach out and we help other people, not only is it an important distraction so that you can have some emotional anesthetic from the pain that you're dealing with on your own, but it really does make a difference when you know that you are able to use whatever strength you have left in you to actually help other people and to help people move forward, especially people who are suffering as well. We now know all these years later that it's really important to do the grief work when you've gone through any kind of loss and it doesn't have to be something as horrific as losing three family members in a plane crash. Loss is loss and anytime someone is suffering from a loss, whether it's the loss of a loved one or loss of something in their life, loss of a dream, loss of a marriage, loss of their health, something or someone is missing and gone and people are in pain and I would say that the most important thing to do is to do the grief work, to actually feel that pain and experience that grief but at the same time reach for other ways of replacing some of that sadness and some of those ways of doing that is to reach out and help others and I truly believe that that's part of our core Jewish values right I mean we're taught to repair the world we're taught to make a difference in the lives of others be honest have integrity do whatever we can to help other people and um, you know, aside from all of that kindness, it's also important to count our blessings. And when you're going through a terrible loss, you have to sometimes really dig deep to find reasons to be grateful and reasons to thank God for what you do have. And I think if we combine all of those together, it's a good recipe for moving forward and making good choices about how to live life in a meaningful way. And really, life is all about choices. Um, at my life and at the choices I made compared to the choices my father made. Here we were going through the same tragedy. We had each lost three family members, but we made very different choices about how to move forward. And as a teenager, I couldn't understand why my father was so broken that he was unable to parent me. He was unable to live again. He simply, in my mind, existed. and. Now, all these years later, I really do understand that he was doing the best that he could under the circumstances with no intervention, no professional help, really just kind-hearted people who wanted him to try to move forward rather than experience the pain and, and talk about it and get the support he needed. So, you know, I think learning um, how to accept other people and taking people's situations into consideration and not judging them is also really critical because we never know what people are dealing with. Lots of people don't share what is hurting them or what kind of pain they're in. And, you know, we look at some people and we just assume they've had a very privileged, blessed, easy life, but really we never know what's going on behind closed doors. And as a therapist, I have an inside view and it's often quite different than what we see on the outside or what we see on Facebook or any kind of social media posts. And people don't always wear their heart on their soul and we have to be compassionate and caring. Having grown up in a home where core Jewish values were evident everywhere, we were a family that always reached out and did things for other people and 
my parents just instilled these amazing Jewish values into us, so I took those as tools and ways of moving forward and, and important lessons in life that I believe are the reasons I was able to make some of the choices I made. And, you know, you have to hold on to your faith. You have to know that God is going to take care of you no matter what. And that I feel I was spared death at such a young age for a reason. And I was meant to go out and do something to help other people, to make a difference, to do my small share in repairing the pain of other people. And I really do believe that that is what helped me. That was the foundation I had in order to move forward. And I tell young parents all the time, don't ever underestimate what you're teaching your young children and make sure you instill those really good Jewish values into them because it will serve them well moving forward.